the first thing that we're going to do is access the photo booth software and that's found right here we launch it and you see your picture and there are a number of effects that you could apply It counts you in, and you've taken a picture. OK, enough already. What's with that? Um, you drag it to your desktop. Sorry, there it is. It appears on your desktop. And I'm always a big fan of naming things. So I'm just going to click on that once, click on it a second time, and it highlights the file name. You can see that. I'll just show you one more time. Click to deselect. Click once to select the text. A second time, it highlights. And now I can just give it a name, um, Headshot. OK? Now, you'll notice it renamed the file. I just clicked on the desktop. If you use a right click, so that's just click on the right side of your mouth, mouse, rather. You can say open with, and you can choose the software in which you want to open it. We want to use Photoshop. So right click, open with, Photoshop. <coughs> it launches Photoshop. Don't worry if it says that can't synchronize, just click OK. So there we have it. We now want to crop that. And in order to do that, we need the cropping tool which is located right here. We select the cropping tool and we can set it so that we use width, height, and resolution. It's that second function there. Just so you can see it, width, height, and resolution. This allows us to set the height, the width, and the resolution of the image. So it was 288 pixels, 288 px. We have to tell it. If I put in, it would measure in inches. And we go over to this next field, put in 288 px for pixels, and finally 72. But you'll notice the measurement system is currently in pixels per centimeter. We need to change that to pixels per inch. 72 ppi, pixels per inch. Once we've done that, it creates the boundary for us. And we want to frame our headshot. Look at that, a face only a mother could love. <laughs> Double click it. It crops the file, and then you can simply save that. Command-S to save. Now, remember I said when you're saving a file, it wants to know three things. What are you going to call it? Its file name. Where are you going to save it? Location. And what file format are you going to use? Here's a fourth option. Certain file formats have compression built in. So with a JPEG, or let's say an MP3 audio, or MP4 video, they have compression algorithms. So the fourth piece of information is, how much do you want to compress this file? I'm just going to use the default. Click OK, and it should have saved my file right there onto the desktop. The other way, of course, is to go to File, Save As, and we use this Finder box. We can name the file. I'm just going to keep it at Headshot for now. I could, so name, location. Now, typically, 
best to use all lowercase letters. Avoid a lot of weird characters like uh, dollar signs and so on because in many systems they will mean things uh, that could, in a sense, render your file inoperable. Don't use spaces in your file names. If you need to separate things, use an underscore. So if I want to be more specific, I can go headshot underscore Jim. Another way of naming files is using what we call camel. So headshot Jim. The first letters of each component of the name are given a capitalization. And you'll notice in this format there's no spaces. So name, location, format, and if I save that, because it's a compressed format, it wants to know the degree of compression. A fourth piece of information. Yes. So, I can close this off now. And you'll notice that I have my cropped file. And here's the second version that I named with my name in it. 